What's up, guys? Uh, we're going to, uh, for the next video, you know, we're going to set up a, uh, a testnet wallet. You know, uh, we're going to use MetaMask to create this wallet, and we're going to pour some testnet ether into it. Um, and we're going to use this ether to, uh, mint, and, uh, to mint our, or to deploy our custom smart contract and to mint NFTs to that contract. Uh, so let's get started. So first you're going to make sure you want to make sure that you have MetaMask installed. Uh, to do that, you can go to, you know, if you're using Firefox, you can go to about colon add-ons here and type in MetaMask and you can install it right here. Or you can access it you can get it inside of the uh, Chrome store. So once you have it installed, then you're going to want to create a, a uh, contract or, or sorry, a, a, uh, a new account. So we can say it's create account. Call us U23 create. And then you're going to want to grab this address. Uh, right there, copy it, and you're going to want to go to rinkaby.io slash hashtag faucet. Okay, so then what you're going to do is make a tweet here. I'm going to use my other account. see so what was it called I need to check my phone real quick because I'm logged into my Twitter on here it's called okay okay so here's that so I'm logged into other Twitter I think it should work if I say make a tweet there we go so then what we're gonna do is paste the address right there and tweet and then you're gonna go to your uh, to the tweet you just made click it and Grab this URL up here, copy, and paste it right there. Then say, give me about 18.75 ETH. Okay, funded. So now it should show up in here. So in the next video, you're going to see that there is a private key value associated with the address uh, that's used. You know, we're going to be using, let's see, da, 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 YouTube. We're going to be using this one here, but uh, if you want to use your own, you know, you could, uh, you know, to export the private key, what you would do is go here and uh, select that, go to account details, you know, click export private key, and you're gonna type in your password. And then here's your private key. So that wraps up for this tutorial. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel for more of this content. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.